Active shooter, corner of Matilda and Broad. They went to serve the guy uh, a warrant or something. The guy opened up the door, military power assault rifle, sort of blast. And we've been hearing gunshots. There's, there's helicopters. My little girl was in the house alone right now. She's back here. She hears the gunshots. The police are going to try to get her out of there while dad's standing on the corner, not even a one second walk away. So she's on the phone with me now. How are you feeling? Like My adrenaline is rushed. I want to get her out of there, get, exit this area, and, and get to safety. This is one of the craziest things that's ever happened on this side of town, besides that uh, that shooting up here with the three officers in, in Stan Heights. This is literally probably the most insane thing that's ever happened. I mean, you can see, look around. We've never seen nothing like this before. So this is a pretty crazy world we're living in. You actually saw the gun in there? Uh, I hear I hear, you hear. Boom, boom. Crack, crack, crack. Boom, 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 boom. You know, it's like two or five. What, baby? You hear it? You hear the gunshot. Look. You okay, baby? Ah, uh, yeah. Lock the door. Close the door in this. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. No, no, you're fine. What's she saying? Yeah, no. what's she like, saying? Madeline, what are you seeing, baby? Oh, he's with, she's with the police officer. Good. Good. It's a wild scene in South oh, Beach, wow. Miami. Wow, this is like crazy. Oh Look who's emerging yeah. from the wreckage. The driver, well, wearing high heels and a long evening dress. Damn. Police say she slammed her sports car well, into a deli. The crash did major damage damn. to the store and to the car. You almost killed that homeless lady. Like for real, that is so crazy, dude. So did she wait around for police to arrive? No, she did not. There she is. Heading to her friend's car. She's like, this car, I'm out. When police got there, the woman dressed to the nines was gone. That girl led the scene. No, she fled the scene. That, yeah, of course. The witness jumped into the police cruiser to help track her down. Is that her? Oh, yeah, that is her. Yes, it is. Yes, that's definitely 100% her. 27 year old Sharon Martinez was charged with leaving the scene of an accident. She pled not guilty. Girl, you are out. And no, she did not get to the ball on time. Brain time. Congratulations, you made it this far in the video. What would you do if I told you you could have 25 years of good luck and all you'd have to do is like this video and also subscribe if you haven't already. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash that like button and you'll get 25 years of good luck. And now, back to the video. Some people say that flying first class is the best experience anybody can have, while others say it's definitely the most comforting experience you can have on an airplane 35,000 feet above the ground. And so when we think about robots in the sky, most often it's probably recalling some sci-fi anime manga or film. But actually, in fact, that notion of robots in the sky being related to anything sci-fi or paranormal or superhuman is kind of outdated. Because living in the year 2023 with supersonic boom jets that are able to fly from Vancouver to Sydney in less than 5 hours and giant airliners like the Airbus A380 which even has a shower on board a commercial airline for first class passengers, then the idea of humanoid robots on a commercial airplane shouldn't be so far off. In fact, huge aviation groups like the Airbus Group have teamed up with Robotics Laboratory to launch a new joint research program that aims to develop humanoid robots that will be used for aviation manufacturing. The project is called Comanoid, which stands for Multi-Contact Collaborative Humanoids. 
By combining Japanese expertise in hardware and robotics, along with advanced French knowledge of mathematics and algorithms, the joint venture encourages initial progress in fields such as robot design and haptics, as well as tactile perception and continuous KDAR. The team spoke and said building on these achievements would develop multi-contact locomotion, which enables humanoid robots to move using not just their feet, but also other body parts such as elbows, knees, and hands as a human would when crawling. A new breed of humanoid robots. While in South Korea, a company called Case have gone beyond the research of developing unmanned aircrafts to testing humanoid robots designed to operate a regular aircraft by sitting in the pilot's seat and using controls just like a human would. But all of this is just boring, to be honest. What if we could have humanoid human-like female robots with giant boobs be our flight attendants or have personal companion robots in first class. But if so, then you would probably want to exercise some caution around the private onboard shower on the Airbus A380. Otherwise, you could maybe find yourself being electrocuted on an airplane. Probably not the steamy electrical scenario you were hoping for. Because they're robots, right?